Have you ever felt like your device just wasn't good enough for your viewing experience? I have. Hi, my name is Marta. I'm an explainer at the New York Hall of Science, and part of my job is to design and make some pretty cool things. So while I was sitting at home, I wondered, is there a creative way for me to project these visuals onto a bigger display? I did some research, and there actually is a way. Today I'm going to show you what I've learned by making a DIY projector. The Magic Lantern used candles or oil lamps to illuminate and project painted images on glass before the age of electricity. It was one of the first projectors used both as a means of education and entertainment. It was eventually made electric and continued to be used until the mid 20th century. Next came other inventions such as the overhead projector, the liquid crystal display projector, and the pocket projector. Although this DIY projector isn't very compact, the upside is that you can use your smartphone to bypass all the intricate optical and mechanical elements. Here is what you'll need. A shoebox, used to reduce the amount of light illuminating the room. A smartphone, which serves as the light source and light image. A magnifying glass, which focuses light as it passes through from a light source. A board, you can use a foam board or a cardboard. This will provide a rigid structure used to prompt up the foam. A box cutter used to cut an outline where you'll insert the magnifying glass lens. Make sure you have adult supervision for this part. Heavy duty glue, which strengthens the box and makes the structure more durable. Double-sided padded tape or Velcro, which provides adhesive to fuse the smartphone to the stand. A ruler, used to properly measure the size of the phone stand. A marker, for tracing lines. And a white sheet or a clean white surface, to reflect the light being projected from the lens. Start by removing the lid of the box but keep it close by since you'll be needing it later. Undo the inner flaps of the box and apply glue to them to make the structure more secure. Let the glue dry for about 20 minutes. Next, grab your magnifying lens. You may need a hacksaw or equipment to cut off the handle. Don't forget to ask for parental supervision. I was lucky to find a magnifying glass with a detachable handle. Once your box dries, stand it up with a cover on it and place the lens from the magnifying glass in the center on top of the box. Use a marker to trace the shape, then remove the cover and trace the remainder of the lens onto the piece of box that was covered by the lid. Then cut into the outlines with the box cutter. Once you cut out the outline of the magnifying glass, position the lens inside of the box and secure it in place using some heavy duty glue. You could also use a hot glue gun rather than a bottled glue, like I am using. Make sure you don't get any glue on the lens as it may mess with clarity of the projection. Next, you'll need a phone stand. Measure the width and the height of your box with your ruler so it fits the enclosure and that the phone lines up to the lens. You are going to glue two pieces of the board perpendicular to each other. Once my glue dried, I further secured the shape of the phone stand with some masking tape. I also made the base shorter so that it had more room to move inside the box. Now that you have your structure completed, make sure your phone screen is locked so it doesn't automatically rotate the image and that your brightness is up. Then use double-sided tape or Velcro to secure your phone onto the stand upside down. If you do not have double-sided tape like me, loop your tape like so. Before we try this out, let's talk about why this image has to be upside down. Why do you think that this is necessary? The magnifying lens that we're using has a biconvex shape, meaning it's bulging outward in the center on both sides of the lens. Light travels in a straight line, so as it passes through the lens, it will become inverted. This means it'll be flipped upside down and backwards. This happens as the light bends between the thinner to the thicker area of the lens. Since the image being projected from our phone is locked in an upside down position, the image will be flipped right side up on the projection wall. Fun fact, this is the same process your eyes use to see. Place your projector at a set distance from the wall. Place the phone stand in the box at the farthest point from the lens. 
and then you'll need to turn off your lights. You may need to adjust the distance between your screen and the projector for your best viewing experience. Pretty cool, right? Do you think you can create your own shoebox projector at home? Thanks for watching.